us now is Nicholas Bagley, University of Michigan law professor, and Jarrett Stepman, columnist at the Heritage Foundation. Great to have you both here. Nick, let me start with you, um, because I read something that you wrote earlier this week in the New York Times, um, that the Obamacare, you don't think, obviously, has been a disaster for America. You think it's been good. And that it is true that the law is more popular now than it was even when it passed. So what do you make of this latest move? Well, I think it's pretty troubling. I think it's troubling whether you support the Affordable Care Act or you're against it. The uh, Justice Department has a long-standing bipartisan commitment to defending acts of Congress. And for the president to announce that he's no longer going to abide by that commitment is a, is a real threat to the rule of law. Um, there was a, Jared, I wanted to read you this from Roy Blunt. It was a report in the Washington Examiner today. He's the fourth ranking Senate Republican and, of course, the party's chief policymaker. And he said there's been no internal discussions on health care and emphasized there are no plans to develop alternatives to Obamacare absent clear direction from Trump. We'll be eager to see the president's proposal, Blunt said. And I wonder what you think about this with Republicans. They know it's the number one issue on people's minds. Uh, they haven't been able to do the, what they've said they were going to do for the past nine years. Now the president is basically saying, you're going to have to get it done and do it well. But now they're dealing with a Democratic Congress, in, at least in the House. So how are they going to get this done? I think it is necessary to get some done, something done on this. Obviously, I think that the discontent over Obamacare, I think there's some discontent certainly coming from the left as well. You have a, an aggressive uh, a minority in the House that is pushing now for Medicare for all. I think that they've wanted this, these kind of ideas for, for a while. I think the socialized medicine, the single payer uh, ideas are going to be on the table. I, I don't think it's a matter of uh, can or they, or they can't they push for these things. I think they're going to have to or they're simply going to get an aggressive minority that wants to push for kind of socialized medicine that I think a lot of Americans are against. And the fact is Obamacare uh, is failing this country. I mean, I think there are a lot of Americans that has not delivered on the promises that, that have been made about Obamacare. It's increased costs for the American people. The amount of choices that Obama promised the American people have mm -hmm. not been there. We've seen a collapse in individual markets throughout this country. Uh, that's just not a sustainable path. It's not about these individual court cases. Mm -hmm. It's about moving forward with a more individual and state-based system that I think will uh, benefit Americans across the board. We showed a poll just a moment ago, Nick, that said that um, improving the system, 55% of Americans want to do that and it's interesting in this debate now that you have so many people especially on the left saying that health care is a right so if there are improvements to be made do you think that that's to make the system more uh, free market or to head more in a direction where the government takes over well look I think it's a debate that's worth having about what we should do to move forward with health care what I can say for sure is that Republicans so far have not come forward with a viable plan to actually reshape the health care markets along the lines that they claim they'd like to remake it. There's no plan to increase coverage. There's no plan to reduce costs. So really, it's a, it's, it's a choice between the Affordable Care Act and something more aggressive. Uh, I think the claim that there's going to be some Republican plan that will finally emerge and command broad assent in Congress is it's, it's really a fiction, and we've seen it repeatedly demonstrated to be a fiction over the past couple of years. We know people get anxious about health care, um, and Jarrett, tell me a little bit about how quickly you think the Republicans can pull this together. Do you think that the policies actually exist? They just need to package it? Oh, I think there absolutely are policies that exist. There's the health care choices uh, proposal. I mean, I think that's a big one that would double down on some of the things that have already gone on within the administration, double down the deregulatory agenda of the administration to bring more choices to individuals and families and states uh, at the local level. I think that these ideas are out there. It's not, I think it's a fiction to say that the only pr proposals that are acceptable are government, more government, and more government, top-down control. Well, they're going to have to figure out a way to, they're going to have to figure out a way to tell more people about it. It, um, for sure, because this debate is heating up, and we're glad that you were here to talk us through it. Nicholas Bagley and Jarrett Stepman, thank you.